Nigeria's Central Security Clearance System unveiled its three-year strategy, which is hinged on improved technology for optimization. Haruna Jalo Waziri, CEO of the CSCS, joined me to unpack this strategy. Now, the CSCS plays a very pivotal role in Nigeria's capital market. For the stock market, it ensures that you know, market activities run smoothly, transactions are cleared in a timely and efficient manner. And I knew that between 2014 and 2015, there were a number of milestones. Before we go to 2018, help us understand the role of the CSCS first. So technically, the CSCS is the most important financial market infrastructure. Understanding that uh, uh, pre-trade uh, and trade occurs, and then ultimately you have the post-trade, which is the things, the activities that actually happen after all of the things that have done because again you know shares have to settle cash has to go to the designated owners and then of course registers have to be updated so the CSCS actually does that and it has to do it not 99.9% .9 like you know in some cases is, is available we have to do it 100% so there is no room for error because ultimately investors feel the impact of any mistakes if at all we make them but does that make it more even more difficult in an environment where you know we're still we still try to understand the kind of technology we need to deploy uh, i mean manpower challenges skills you know skills gap and some of the other challenges that could you know, crop up based i mean you've said it has to be 100 percent, and i imagine that in our current in our, you know type of environment that we're in that could be a little bit more challenging it is actually, um, and um, if you look at historically what has happened uh, with the CSCS, there has been a developmental stage that occurred in the early stages of CSCS where some of the uh, settlement was not true DVP because of the challenges that we had in terms of structure, technology, and also even market rules. Uh, but right now, you know, uh, having deployed TCS banks, which is our new uh, uh, core software that uh, does transactional you know, settlement for us and is coupled with our exchanges. Uh, it's a lot easier. The other aspect that we probably struggle with are things like skill gaps and then counterparty capacities. So uh, if we are ready, it doesn't mean that everybody in the market is ready. So yes, those challenges exist, but typically we have workarounds to ensure that that 100% remains 100%. Okay, let's come down to the years 2014-2015 uh, where a number of milestones were achieved. To help us understand how that uh, was a game changer, if it was, for, those, for that period. So, um, 2014 was set out to stabilize what it is that you know, uh, was very important in terms of the life of the CSCS. Key to what was to be achieved was to be fully compliant with CPMS, CPMS IOSCO principles, which are 14 in number. And uh, the effort was to go ahead and ensure that those principles are met from a you know, uh, operational perspective. And so that was achieved in 2016. Uh, we also went out to say, look, we need, we need to certify the processes that we do. We need to be rated. So we went for ISO certification, which we got. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that we, we would compare with our peers in, in, in other countries. And so we asked Thomas Murray to come and rate us, and they did rate us as A. Um, the only other uh, CSD in Africa that has more than an A is actually straight in South Africa, as usual. Um, <laughs> they have an A star, but uh, one of our strategy going forward is to actually match that A star go forward in terms of Thomas Murray uh, uh, ratings. Okay, let's come down to 2018. Now, obviously, a lot has happened from that, you know, 2015 up until now. But you know, you're, should I say? The, the mm -hmm. man in charge right now at the CSCS, and you have a strategy to you know make things even better, especially even from a technology point. So help us understand what your strategy is going forward from this year to take the CSCS even to greater heights. So having joined the CSCS on the first of November, um, uh, the first thing we did was had a strategy session with the board as to where do we want to take this company to, what should we do. So at that strategy session, sometime in November with the board and management, uh, the, we arrived at 13 core principles in terms of objectives for the strategy that we would have for the next three years. And uh, out of that 13 objectives, management came down and sat down and had their own retreat and came out with 84 strategic initiatives. So based on that, we found, you know, we agreed that there are five principles of what we want to do from a strategic perspective. And the five principles are primarily, one, we want to optimize our operations. So today, how we do things better? Is it SDP? Is it was the turnaround time for uh, for for our counterparties or for our participants? 
uh, uh, how is the investor feeling us? We want to make sure that if we do things in two days, now we want to bring back to one day. We want to even take it to zero if possible. So all of those things are key to how we think we can impact the, you know, the market and in, improve liquidity as it is or bring better uh, price discovery, which is what everybody wants in the market. Uh, the second thing we want to do is to be customer centric. You know, uh, today the CSCS, you know, looks at itself as you know talking to participants, talking to the exchanges. But I think we have to go beyond that. You know, there is a role that we have to play to to the investor, to the registrars, to the exchanges. You know, to the custodians in such a way that they feel the impact of everything we do, and ultimately the investor feels that particular positive impact. So we will be customer focused, we'll be customer centric, we will develop, you know, uh, capacities from things like a, a mobile app where everybody can actually, you know, check his uh, uh, balances and valuations from the CSCS platform, you know, or when trades are done, you can see them real time. You know, those kind of things are the things we have as one of the initiatives that we're going to do to be customer centric. So, sorry to butt in, for the being customer centric, you are, you're hoping to have 82% uh, minimum customer satisfaction. So I'm thinking th that suggests that there is a strong, or maybe you're planning to build a stronger um, feedback mechanism, but how would you describe the present feedback mechanism now? Uh, today we're not very, uh, how would I put it now? We are not where we want to be in terms of the feedback mechanism, both to our uh, participants and the exchanges and also ultimately to the investor. Now, the target we set for ourselves in the next three years is that come 2020, when we do a customer survey, we must achieve 80% satisfaction as a strategic initiative. So that's, that's what we want to do. And there are things we're going to build across to be able to, to achieve that. Um, so if I may continue, the third one is actually, uh, you know, we have to innovate with technology. Te we are, almost everything we do is based on technology. So um, like I said, we've just de uh, deployed TCS banks, which is one of the common CSD softwares across uh, uh, globally. Uh, and we would, the, the capacity it has is enormous. So we will develop APIs for people to connect to us. And you can do anything you want to do it. We want to make sure that we connect to everybody on a streamless, I mean, on a seamless perspective. So people don't have to come to us to anything. They can do it via the website, they can do it via the app. We'll have portals for, you know, uh, participants and, the, you know, all of these things. And of course, like I said, the API, which you can connect to do anything you want to do. Now, these are things we want to do across in the next three years. And we, the whole idea, again, is to ensure that the customers feel us and, you know, ultimately are satisfied. Um, the other part is the uh, partnerships. You know, we have to have partnerships, both locally, internationally, and even across the verticals and, 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 and laterals. So uh, our regulators, everybody, we need to be more involved in how things are done. Uh, we need to be partnering with, say, NIPS, Central Bank, all of those people that actually have some infrastructure that we use to be able to, you know, deliver our services to our customers. So that is also very, very important to us. And of course, lastly, you know, we have investors who are PLC. So we ensure that at least we return a decent ROE for, for, for our shareholders. So those are the five pillars, if you put together, within the next years that we want to achieve. And again, like I said, within those five pillars, there would be 84 initiatives which have to be executed. So I'm just thinking, th this is over a three year period, but I imagine you, you must have targets for 2018 and of course strict monitoring, but for 2018 specifically, what are you hoping to achieve come December 31st, 2018? So number one is that that app must be ready and must be functional. Number two is that we develop that API that everybody can be able to, you know, uh, be able to connect to us and ensure that at least we start the process of the, of the connectivity. Number three is that, you know, reports would like to have the portal and the, uh, um, the website ready for people to be able to see the, the experience of the, of the CSS. And of course, we have to build capacity internally from a uh, workforce perspective uh, to be able to ensure that, you know, we're able to deliver all of those things uh, across. And of course, we'll start those partnerships with regulators, with our stakeholders, and the engagement and the feedback has to be there as well. Now, with this massive deployment of technology, obviously that's going to cost, you know, a pretty penny. So I'm thinking, do you have that financial strength to embark on this ambitious strategy? So we have support of the board and the shareholders to, to ensure that at least we remain uh, 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 focused around the strategy. And uh, from our strategic perspective, there's something called Stratex. So with strategy comes, uh, you know, uh, expenditure. And uh, the board has approved for us to have those expenditures to be done because ultimately 
it, it creates value for the market. And when it does create value for the market, when the investors are happy with the market, what they do is they come back and trade. And when they trade, it means that everybody is happy because then it spreads around. So I, I guess you know you have to make an investment to be able to achieve you know, uh, the objectives of the market. So yes, certainly we, we would do it. Speaking about happy, I imagine from, let's talk about 2015, uh, the, uh, well, the, there wasn't so much to cheer about in terms of revenues, but still, you know, yet, CSS, yes, you made a pretty penny then, about 4.6 billion an hour in 2015. So how has the revenue streams, how has it been in terms of growth since then? Um, about, uh, 51% of our revenue comes from transactional trades. So every time the market is bullish, every time the market has activity, we actually benefit for it. So does everybody in the market. And so, yeah, the years that markets are liquid, the years that markets are booming, we also benefit from that. So most of the time, what you see with those revenues, Skype is, you know, from trades that occur because the market yeah. has volumes. Uh, but one of the things that we would also do is diversify our revenues because you become experts in doing things, things like document management. So if you look at a broker, a broker probably has five kilograms of paper every month that it processes if it's an average broker. So you can imagine if there are 234 brokers and they give us five kilograms of paper in a month, I mean, do the math. So we have become experts in document management system and, and storage. So that is one of the things that we want to get out there to the market and help others, you know, solve that problem. Yeah, but also make Obviously, make money because Certainly. if you, I mean, like you said, this strategy is going to cost a lot. So, are you, do you expect it to, you know, weigh heavily on your bottom line? What will happen is that because we're diversifying our products and revenue, uh, we expect that you know uh, the revenues will come will appropriately price our products mm -hmm. so that you know uh, we're not making we're not a charity. So we, we would definitely uh, create value for for ourselves as well as for the shareholders. Okay, so for twenty eighteen numbers. What are you hopeful? What are you, you know, hopeful for? Um, 2018 has been a good year if you looked at what happened from March, uh, sorry, from May of uh, 20, 20, 2017. So, uh, pretty much uh, the market has been quite bullish. Uh, we're at 44,000 just under yesterday. Uh, the volumes have increased by about six uh, percent, uh, sorry, seven percent. So we 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 were likely to see a, a, a growth in terms of revenues for for the CSCs. That was Haruna Jalo Waziri, CEO of the Central Securities Clearance System.